Ezekiel New tonight, a hearing to determine whether the 15-year-old suspect in the killing of Timothy Reynolds will be tried as an adult. And that will be November 17th. Reynolds was shot after a confrontation with squeegee kids this summer. Tonight, city's police union has stepped into the squeegee crisis debate, and the mayor also came out swinging. Jeff Abel is live tonight with the latest turn of events for us. Jeff? Well, the union that represents police officers here is taking the mayor to task for failing to clear those squeegee kids out of city intersections. But the tough words appear to be doing little to change the city's course. I'm trying to tell you, bro, it's going to be more crime. On North Avenue this week, at least one squeegee kid came armed with a prediction. Clearing them from intersections, he says, won't come without a price. So if y'all stop it... I want to go back to robbing and killing, and it's going to be a whole lot of crimes. We're talking about poverty. Today, the mayor made a similar prediction. Anybody that knows, knows that folks who are experiencing poverty are folks who are going to commit crimes. It doesn't matter if they're homeless, if they're squeegeeing, if they're breaking their houses, stealing cars. This is what we're talking about here. But members of the city's police union fired back on social media today, writing that just good kids providing a service for money. But some have committed heinous acts against taxpayers just trying to get to work. And now they are threatening to do more. Our citizens don't have a chance as Mayor Scott's plan keeps cops on the bench. So far, the mayor's office, which has attempted to find jobs for squeegee kids, has failed to keep them out of intersections. But what the mayor calls panhandling, Ivan Bates calls lawbreaking. Stepping off that sidewalk, going in and out of traffic is illegal. And as far as I'm concerned, we cannot do that. As the city's presumptive new state's attorney, Bates vows to enforce the law and keep intersections clear of squeegee kids. The mayor is now waiting on his squeegee collaborative for advice on which move to make next. We're talking about trying to solve an issue uh, that really is based around people's financial uh, and family situations. I understand, but they can't be there. But for now, the squeegee kids press on, their fate still unclear. If y'all going to stop this, make sure y'all got some jobs for these kids, because if y'all don't, it's going to be a rude awakening for y'all. That's all I'm saying. Well, so far, the mayor's squeegee collaborative has not allowed our cameras inside any of its meetings. However, a plan is expected from that collaborative by the end of the month. We are live tonight. Jeff Abel, Fox 45 News. Jeff, thanks. Fox 45 News has seen several examples of heated and sometimes violent exchanges with squeegee kids. In the months since, police say a squeegee kid shot and killed Timothy Reynolds in July. Data from the Baltimore Police Department shows there have been more than 600 squeegee-related calls for service between July 1st and early October. Now, Fox 45 News has been covering this ongoing problem for months. You can find all of our reporting on our website, foxbaltimore.com.